friends to Wellness Wednesday. It's a special WLC 10 episode today and our designer Victoria Tonelli has been checking out our challengers homes to see how we can work with them to create a space that helps them live well. We're about to visit Michelle, but first let's get to know Victoria a little better. So she's a new face here on City Line. We're thrilled to have you with us Thank for you. WLC 10. Um, and I want to find out a little bit about what you're all about. Okay. Take a look. I have been creatively involved in some of the most popular design shows on television right now. Where I started is Property Brothers. I'm at almost 60 episodes now with working with those guys. My production designs have now aired on television screens all across the world. Design for TV is really designer boot camp. We really are pulling off the unthinkable, so finding ways to get these renovations done in record time has really made me push myself as a designer and show my versatility. I think taking risks is such a huge part in this industry or else you really don't have a voice. So finding ways to take those risks, if someone does tell me no and no and no and no, I will find someone that will tell me yes. If I feel like it's super important and if it will make or break the design, a lot of people say don't sweat the small stuff. I could not agree less with that. I think we should really sweat the details here. So I really wanna spend time with these women to figure out those small things that could make a space function better for them. And that's what makes really good interior designs. I have always had a passion for design, but I've learned how powerful interior design can be and how it really has the ability to change someone's life and allow someone to live their best life. so good at this this job um, and in the years that you've been doing this because you have been doing this for many years yep. what's the one thing that you think holds people back the most in their spaces I think resistance to change mm. and resistance to action I think most people understand what's not working for them yeah. and they're comfortable where they are and they don't want to do anything about it oh. so I think recognizing what doesn't work and it doesn't mean that you have to break the bank it could just be reorganizing your space or yeah. you know taking inventory of what you use and what you don't use so those small things can make a huge difference yeah and people just need to do it that's and right. that's the thing yeah Think back to when it was your first place or maybe you were a college student or university and you put the sheet up and that was your window covering. Oh, terrible. And then you said to yourself, Cringe. oh, there's no way I'm leaving it there. And then five years goes by. Yeah. And yeah. you're like, oh, I'm okay with this. Like, it could be tinfoil. You're all right with it now all of a sudden. So it's just yeah. that we get comfortable, right? Exactly. And then we don't want to move. So that's yeah. a really good um, sort of microcosm for life right there. Mm -hmm. So Victoria, you went to see Michelle's space. Yes. Now we know Michelle is single and ready to mingle. <laughs> But her bedroom is not ready for guests. No. Um, hi. Yeah. How are you? I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited for you to be here. It's coming to my bedroom. It's big, but it is big. it's. I feel a little lost in here. It feels a little empty in here. Yeah, um, like cavernous with the dead space maybe in the middle. Yes. Yeah. You said so, that they wanted there to be a bit of a theme in here. Yeah, so I said sexy. Yeah. I'm all about at the end of this feeling healthier, sexier. Awesome. I want that to be reflected in my bedroom. So pretty much what you're telling me, you want me to bring sexy back. Yes, please. Okay. Bring it. I can do that. I can 100% awesome. do that. Okay, so you are renting this space though, yes. right? So yeah. We probably are limited a little bit with what we can do, yes. but I think so many people would resonate with this because so many people rent, yeah. right? That's my closet. This is kind of a situation here that we can make yes. better. Yes. And then, is this only... Oh, does it go all the it way back? It goes all the way back. This is actually a really good sized closet for a one bedroom apartment. But you can't even access. How do you even no. get through there? I crawl under the clothes I have hanging and okay. get in there. Can I say something about the drapes? Yes. You know when people have like pants that don't meet their ankles when yes. they're not supposed to? These drapes don't meet the floor, okay. and they're supposed to. Okay. I will admit that the bed is being held up right now with a pile of books. Oh. So yeah. how well are you sleeping right now, knowing that this bed could fall apart any second? I don't sleep that well, or I get into a position and I'll kind of stay in it. And you can't move? I've woken up a couple nights and the footboard has fallen right off. No. Okay, we're gonna fix that. 100% we're gonna fix that. You told me in my, your emails that you love pink. Yeah. So tell me about that. Pink is my favorite color. Okay. Um, when I painted the place, I had my dad come in and paint for me. Okay. Um, I said I wanted my room pink, but he yeah. said, 
um, that and that oh. pink wasn't uh, a mature color to go with. Well, I respectfully disagree. <laughs> okay. You can let him know because I think you can really do pink in a sophisticated way. Blush is so in right now. I think you have so much style just talking to you and you have a good vision, but there is no style in this bedroom. It doesn't represent you. Yes. We're gonna start right away. So Tiger's here from Mr. As Built. So he's gonna come in, okay. he's gonna measure this, so we have to wow. give him some space. Oh. 